What's going on everyone? I want to show you a little bit of BlackBerry 10.3 and this is an alpha leak and of course I'm a geek like I am with all BlackBerry devices so I have to have the latest and greatest and uh, you know there's a lot of little things have been changed with 10.3. Uh, if you look at the interface right here um, the uh, the little shadows, the little grids behind them is gone, long gone. So now it's just uh, simply the interface with a nice little shadow. Uh, I, I really like it. Nice, very clean look to it. Um, nothing much other than that change on the main screen here. I'm going to jump right into the hub. You're going to notice right off the bat the difference with the hub. So on the bottom, gone is the black. Now is the white. Um, you know, this black is still here. But you look at the top, red. So no more blue, now red. You know, so it's very subtle changes, but I think it brings a really nice uh, overall look to uh, to uh, BlackBerry 10. Now here's another thing. You look on the bottom there, you're going to see uh, there's the uh, attachment search and, and components. If you move, if you move your the scroll up and scroll down through it, if you scroll up, you're going to see it goes away, so you can see all the information, but if you want to come back, all you got to do is scroll down. I think that's a really neat thing in there, so if you just kind of want more information in there, and you, know, you want to know what that bottom one is, a little tiny subtle change that I think is pretty neat. Um, you know, the options are still black there, so that's the hub. Not a whole lot changed, like I said, just very small little things. We'll go jump right into the browser. You can know the browser had some little subtle changes to it as well. Uh, I think the browser is, is lightning fast than what it what it was in the past, and it wasn't slow by any means in the past either. It was pretty quick, but uh, the improvements have, have been better as well. I like I like the browser look, really clean, clean, flat interface. I love it. I, I, I just love the way this browser looks a lot. I'm going to bring up the keyboard, because the keyboard made some changes too. So obviously, uh, you know, the blue keys are gone. Now the red ones are there, but here's the cursor. I think the cursor is a little neat too. The cursor has been a little bit adjustments with that. I like the overall look with the with the cursor. Very very neat. Um, but you know, as I keep on saying, it's very subtle changes. But the subtle changes have been very very uh, good for an overall feeling. You know, once again, the white on the bottom for the weather app, it's black now. Um, so I'm hoping these all stay. Uh, when the official uh, launch of the BlackBerry 10.3 comes out, once again, on the bottom, it's white now. No more black in the calendar app. Subtle, subtle changes. BBM, white on the bottom. Uh, the menu's still black on the side, so nice accent kind of thing. I think that's really, really neat. I like to see maybe the bar at the top change to a different color. You know, I don't know what color they change that to. If they go to white or go black, I don't know. You know, but I, I, I like just that the blue to, to blend in a little bit more. Uh, so if they're going to red with the other stuff, why not make that red as well? Music app, little adjustments with the music app. You'll see right away, bam, search right in the middle. Uh, if I go right into the, to the music I was playing here, you can see that middle button is still there. Big middle button, button helps you locate that play button really quick. Uh, lots of options now. Lots of options on the go. I like the set as ringtone right away in there. I'm not quite sure if that was in 10.2 uh, and, and beyond or before that. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. I like the audio thing though. That's neat because I don't think that was there. I'm pretty sure that wasn't. So if you have, like Bluetooth going on or headset, you can s switch exactly to what audio you want to go through. So that's a really nice subtle change in there. Looking at the pictures app. Little subtle changes in that too. So right off the bat, you're going to see your normal pictures there. But up here in the top, it's a nice, cool little um, um, story maker they put together with all the pictures going on for the month or so. So it, it uses story maker's own software for the videos and, ma and makes like a, a photo you know, slideshow of some sort on its own. So that's kind of cool. So if you want to see what's going on, it's going to show all your pictures there. So I think that's really, really neat. Uh, very basic feature, but I think it's really cool. Uh, the camera app, or the uh, photo app, is kind of similar, still nothing much change in there. Uh, there have been a little bit of adjustments with the video app as well. Once again, nothing really big, just subtle, subtle adjustments to everything. You can see that scroll bar, once again, it disappears. I like that, I think it's really cool. They just got to make that search icon, dis or a uh, big circle there, disappear. I think that'd be even better, but you know, I'm not going to complain about it. I really like that, really, really cool. 
other than that, everything else is really, um, you know, similar. Jump into the camera app, you're going to see right away the difference with the camera app. Um, I don't have a whole lot of light going on here, so it's tough to see stuff, but you're looking at the camera app itself. It's got the uh, big red or red circle there, and that's record your videos. Um, tapping on the screen still does the pictures like normal. I think the pictures are lightning quick now. You know, I think there's a little delay in the past. Here's all the menus. You got time shift on there too, so if you're gonna need a time shift, uh, I think that's I think that's another neat feature. Let's see if I can do a time shift with looking at me. I never have tried this before. It might be too dark. Let's try this out real quick here. Oh, looks like it detected me. Pretty neat. Cool. Didn't think it could do that, but once again, uh, Blackberry does stuff you just don't know what they're gonna do. I wish they market some of this stuff a little more. I honestly think they should. That'd be really cool. Uh, but the camera app, new and improved. Uh, I really like that as well. But uh, other things that are really cool is like uh, obviously the native, uh, not native, but Android apps on here. Like this is here my U.S. Bank. This is where I bank at. Um, you know, the the version on the Android version that's running on top of BlackBerry 10 is really smooth, very, very close to native. Very, very, very close to native. You really can't tell the difference, especially when you hide the bar that's normally on the bottom there. Uh, everything loads up very, very smooth um, and intelligent. Very, very awesome. I love everything. But that's uh, that's BlackBerry 10.3. I hope I didn't miss anything else in there. I can't think of anything else that might have changed. Uh, you know, count, or, uh, calculator, everything else the same from, from what I looked at so far. Uh, but that's your 10.3, uh, very, very early stages, and I hope a lot of the changes that they've done so far stay in there. I think that'd be a really awesome, um, you know, overall look to BlackBerry 10 to keep with this nice clean interface. But hey, check out 